Hey y'all, I know it's been a while. I know I have been on a hiatus. Y'all, I'm doing a little, um, look, it's touch and go. It's touch and go. C-19 took me out. I told you yesterday, y'all, it had me on the ropes. Still got me a little bit on the ropes, but I'm going to push through y'all. So I said all that to say, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a little video today. Hopefully, um, you know, I could get more consistent with putting my videos back out again. But here's a little something, something to get me going. It's, a, of course, about love and marriage, Huntsville. Just a little update on the destiny situation. Y'all sit back, hit that like button. Don't forget that everything I say over here is in my opinion. It's for entertainment purposes only. And let's hop right into it. without his knowledge. Katie Rice's Destiny Peyton Williams is accused of forging her ex-husband's name on a utilities contract without his knowledge. Katie Rice's Destiny Peyton Williams is accused of forging her ex-husband's name on a utilities contract without his knowledge. K so, y'all saw that, right? Destiny was on Crime Stoppers. We talked about it on Gossip Girls yesterday on Brown Skin's channel. It's been talked about all over the internet. Well, it looks like this morning, y'all, she is turning herself in. I'm going to let y'all watch that little clip to see what she had to say. She was with her dad. After y'all watch that clip, I will come back to you all with my commentary. Take a look at Destiny turning herself into the Madison County Courthouse in Alabama. Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing this morning? I am here at... the Madison County Courthouse about to turn myself in and look who's always with me my dad my rider always I hate this for him more than anything one thing through it all is I've learned that I'm one of God's strongest soldiers. And the battles are always given to us. As much as we don't want them. I'm ready. My poor dad is stressed out. He's stressing me out too, but... I don't need that, but I got it. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that. I know I don't go live. I know I don't do this. But... I did today. Ready? She told me. I don't know, Daddy. Do I hold my hand? Come on. You tell me you was up here. I thought you said you was meeting me here. That's why. Okay. 
All right. All right, Daddy. Pray for me, y'all. Bye. So listen, guys. I have a lot to say about this because I feel like, you know, a lot of times we can't stop people from their karma, right? Um, while as a female, as a woman, okay, as a mother, I have much empathy for Destiny and what she's going through right now. I do. I feel bad for her because I wouldn't be a human being if I didn't. But I also would like to bring y'all attention to another young lady that was going through a lot of ish. And this particular particular young lady here, Miss Destiny, was supposed to be her friend. And she was a horrible friend. I mean, horrible. Okay. And I can't help but wonder if this is her karma for what she put out at a time when she could have had empathy for another woman. So, you know, y'all, I'm sorry, but. You can't save a person from their from their own karma that they've put out into this universe, right? And the universe going to always correct itself, always. What goes up must come down, negative and positive, hot, cold, all the you know, the the the, the bipolar opposites, all of them. They're going to is going to correct itself to have what we call homeostasis, right? And I feel like you can't put out all that destiny put out into this world, okay? And think that you're not going to get some form of karma back to you in, in some way. Now, let me just remind y'all. To me, I feel like if you got a girlfriend, okay, that's willing to give you five to six G's, allegedly, okay, for your utility bills, Okay, and not even say, yo, you got to pay me back, anything like that. And then you turn around and call said individual uh, and say they not your friend. To me, that is a person that don't, you know, that deserve what they get. Listen, you getting what you get. You getting what you put out. And then you sat back and to me. In my opinion, facilitated her ex-husband doing some of the cruelest things to her. And you you facilitated and assisted with that. You think you're going to have some good luck after you've done all of that? I mean, let's just keep it real, y'all. Seriously. Destiny was a horrible friend to Mel. Horrible. And when she had the opportunity to be a woman and stand up for a woman she chose to be male identified she chose to stick next to a man that had ruined his family okay ruined his family she chose to stick next to a man that was trying to take a mother's children from her she chose to stick next to a man that had blatantly cheated ridiculously on on his wife ex-wife She chose to stand next to a woman that she knew, in my humble opinion, was trying to put revenge pee out on her. And that was the quote unquote secrets she called herself holding about male. Like y'all forget all of the cruddy ass shit that Destiny have done. I don't because I'm one of those people that don't forget the shit that you do. Like, just because time has passed, it doesn't change your actions. And to me, she was very horrible to this woman. And what she's getting back is the shit she put out. Period. That doesn't mean I don't feel bad for her. That doesn't mean that I don't have empathy for what she's going through right now. But it means that I don't, I haven't forgotten the cruddy way you treated this other young woman when she was basically rebuilding her life after her piece of crap ex-husband 
had successfully destroyed it. Okay? You know, calling her not a friend. Siding against her with her ex-husband. What woman does that? What woman, real woman, behaves in that manner? So... You know, I feel like she getting what she deserved. I think it's very serendipitous that what she is being accused of has to do with a utility bill. I think that's y'all that listen, things happen for a reason because that's because that's your friend, your ex friend was the one that helped you with that bill it, it, before. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I think it's just like, wow, wow, what what are the odds that this person would be getting in trouble for something that to me, she was extremely ungrateful for? Ungrateful. She ain't a real friend. Well, I don't know no fake friends that are give you over a give you five, six thousand dollars. Like I said, I don't know the amount, but we know it was substantial for your utility bills. I don't know fake friends that'll do that. For real, that's real talk. I don't know too many real friends that'll do that. So I just think this young lady is getting back the energy that she put out. Okay. And so it's hard for me not to remind people of that. Y'all, it just is. It's hard for me not to remember how disgusting Dusty was to Mel when Mel was going through probably the hardest time in her life, getting a divorce from a piece of ish cheater. Okay. You know, I mean, <laughs> I know you, you are. And that's the thing. Like I've been seeing comments where people like love Eric is a piece of ish. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. Let's talk. Is it love responsibility to take care of destiny as a grown woman? Because he has a child with her. Or is his responsibility to his child. It's destiny responsibility to keep a roof over her head. It just is. I'm not saying that he can't help her. Because he can. But it's her responsibility to maintain her lifestyle. The way she needs or wants to maintain it. And it's not his. That's my opinion. Now everyone's saying he, he a low down dirty dog. If he turned her in. How do we know? That he turned her in. How do we know that the utility company didn't find this on their own? And when they asked him, do you have a bill at said place? He simply said, no, I don't. I should not have any utilities or a bill at this particular address. And from that moment on, guess what? By him telling the truth by default. They're going to find out who this bill belongs to because it doesn't belong to him. Now, how is he wrong for that? How do he know who, who signed his name? He may not even have had any inkling who put a bill in his name. He may have thought about it and said it could be this person, but I don't know. But at the end of the day, y'all don't know how they came to the conclusion that she committed a fraudulent act by signing this man's name. OK, no one knows. No one knows what how it how it unfolded. So I think it's unfair to call him names to blame him for, you know, her act for the roosters coming home to roost in her committing fraud. Like, how is it his fault? I know if it was my credit, I wouldn't want anybody out here just willy nilly signing my goddamn name. You know, it's hard to keep your credit straight and to make sure your bills is paid on time so that you could buy and purchase things the way you want to buy and purchase things. And for somebody to go out here and utilize your name without your permission, that ain't right, y'all. It ain't right. Now, again, I uh, I don't see where it would it should be blamed on LaBaric at all. That's my opinion. But there are some people that don't feel that way. They feel that he should have, because she's his baby mama, he should just let that slide. Now, I'm sorry. I'm from the school of accountability. You're not going to piss on my piss down my back and tell me it's raining. No, sir. No, ma'am. No. So 
I don't agree with that perspective. I think if you fuck around and do something wrong, that you got to be willing to suffer the consequences for what you've done, period. And if you not, it's real simple. Don't do it. Don't sign anybody else's name but your own. <laughs> Especially, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not your name. Like, to me, that's like a sense of entitlement to somebody else's shit, their credit. Well, you know, now, if he didn't choose to assist or help her with the utility bill out the kindness of his heart, you can't force him just because he is the baby daddy. So, y'all listen. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. Hop down in the comments. Let me know. Do y'all think Destiny's wrong? Do y'all... Listen, we have, we don't have no proof that LeBaric turned her in. We don't know who turned her in. But if he did, do y'all think he was wrong for doing that? Or do y'all... I mean, shoot, it could have been the utility company. Y'all let me know. Don't forget to hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. What's up with you?